Sup, shrimp? What are you looking at? Me? Oh, I'm just a rat bastard. I wake up every morning and I eat my Captain Crunch with water. I know that life is hard. My luck is hard. I'm hard. God, I'm a bastard. Yes, so you keep saying. I don't want any middleman. I just want the best quality possible. From the factory straight to my house for the lowest price. I don't care. Danger. That's my middle name. And my last name. And my first. People think the DR in front of my name stands for doctor. No. It's danger. Now can this hard luck king's bombshell live up to my expectations as a true rat bastard? Let's find out. This base to my left is the Hard Luck Kings Bombshell Series 19. I've seen ads for Hard Luck Kings on Facebook, but I really haven't seen much about them elsewhere, so I decided to take a look and see what they were offering. Now Hard Luck Kings advertises themselves as a no BS pro guitar brand. They want to sell the best instruments at the lowest prices to professional musicians. They toss around the word pro all over their website. Pro pickups, pro setup, everything is pro. And then I look at the price tag of these instruments. This particular bass is on sale right now on their website for $259. That's a really low price, isn't it? So can they truly hold up to their statement of cutting out the middleman and giving us the best instrument possible? Let's find out. First, you guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand can turn back to normal. Thanks. Oof. First let me start off by saying that these pickups are very noisy. Okay, where to begin? So let's start off with the weight. Usually cheaper bases are on the lighter side of the weight spectrum, but this thing is 10 pounds. And I really don't understand why. If this is a professional instrument geared towards professional players, why is it so heavy? The bridge hardware doesn't look so bad, but I do have my complaints about the electronics. These pickups are simply garbage. Listen to the tone that you get out of them. It doesn't really sound like a jazz bass at all. It doesn't even really sound good. Now let's take a look at each of the pickups soloed and see if they sound any better. The neck pickup sounds like I have the tone turned all the way down, but in reality it's all the way up. Here's what the neck pickup sounds like with the tone turned all the way down. Eh. Now let's take a look at the bridge pickup. That doesn't even sound like the bridge pickup of a jazz bass. You don't get any of that nasally, honky, funky fusion sound that you get from a traditional jazz bass bridge pickup. This thing is just not good. Now let's see what it sounds like with both pickups on full and the tone turned all the way down. It 
It just sounds empty. Now let's talk about the neck. The neck is way too fat and it's also finished as well. That's right, the neck is painted. The finish is very sticky and makes it very hard to go up and down the neck. Out of the box, the action is way too high. Combined with the really fat neck, this thing is just very uncomfortable to play. And on the topic of the fretboard, the inlays are extremely phallic. They're supposed to be bombs, but they look like dicks. I've asked about six different people and I just showed them a picture of the inlay and I said, what does this look like? Six out of six, dicks. Now let's just talk about the fit and finish. From afar, this base doesn't look too bad, but when you look up close, all the curves and edges are really, really blocky and rough as if they were barely sanded down after being CNC'd out of a machine. When you run your hand over the headstock, it feels just kind of bumpy. So overall, this instrument as a whole is just not great. Now let's talk about their marketing. Hard Luck Kings advertises themselves as a maverick in the industry. Someone who's taking on the status quo, sticking it to the man, doing something to revolutionize the industry as we know it. They say they cut out the middleman to provide you with the professional level instrument that you deserve. But what I see here is really cheap Chinese made parts that were put together poorly for the sake of marking them up and calling them a limited edition. That's right, every series only has 19 or 18 or so of these instruments made. That means they must be special and everyone is hand assembled with great care, right? No. This thing is $259 plus 50 or so dollars for shipping. So you're getting into sterling territory with a sterling SUB base. Now I'm not saying Chinese parts are bad, just the contrary. There's a lot of great manufacturers who are using Chinese parts and even Chinese factories. Warwick produces their rock base line in China. MTD produces the Kingston line in China. Those are all great bases. And even with Chinese parts, you can assemble a solid base. I'm actually gonna be doing a DIY series in the future where we're gonna make a base that's less expensive than this and hopefully much better. So stay tuned for that. Ugh. This thing is just not fun to play. So what am I gonna rate the Hard Luck King Series 19 bombshell base? Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it. One claw. That's right, there's a first time for everything. I think this is a very poorly made instrument and very overpriced. For nearly $300 after shipping, you're getting very close into the Mexican-made Fender Precision Bass territory on the second-hand market, and those basses are way better than this. In fact, the Sterling SUB series, the Squires, AIO guitars, and the Ibanez Talman series. There's a lot of really great budget offerings out there from a lot of the big manufacturers, and they offer a much better playing experience than this thing. Where I'm standing, the Hard Luck King statement about cutting out the middleman and delivering professional grade instruments to working musicians does not hold water or stand true. I am very disappointed with this instrument and Hard Luck Kings as a company in general. I shake my claw at thee. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Hard Luck Kings Bombshell Series 19 or any of the Hard Luck Kings instruments. And as always, until we groove again. Dicks.